All right, guys, we're on the boat. We're going. Yes. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to a new episode, First Timers. Got myself, Hero, here. Got Alvin. Alvin. Ooh, and we're superstars. On a, we're on a boat. We are on a boat. What are we doing today? Playing boat. Making yeah, him no, nauseous. He's I'm like, getting nauseous already. He's, he's like, sick. He's like, we're not even out in the ocean. We're not even on the ocean. All right, All right. So we are losing the sun very fast. But yep. today, we are going to be installing a new radio on the boat. It's a yep. marine stereo receiver. Um, made by a company called Pile, and their Pile. website is pileusa.com. <laughs> That's <about> Bad name. <laughs> nah, it's probably catchy. But anyway, um, Bluetooth wireless streaming, so obviously you got the Bluetooth. Um, you have your hardwire connections, SD card port, so we're going to be throwing it in the boat. Yep. We also have some speakers here. From uh, Pioneer. Now, yep, we're going to be replacing uh, the tower speakers just because one of the Kenwoods went bad on the right side. And we'll see what's going on and all that fun stuff to see why it went bad in the first place. Yep. But um, yeah, so we're gonna actually uh, get started uh, first with the uh, what the radio? We'll do the radio. Let's just do the radio. We'll first. Do the radio. Yeah. And then we have some lights to do the uh, to get the visuals of these guys. So we'll light it up. Be nice and bright up here. Yep. So anyway. As we get started here, guys, um, first thing I will note is that the uh, this uh, particular head unit is pretty lightweight. Uh, you can kind of feel how light the box is and all that fun stuff. Um, as we do get to the install portion, I'm not going to go through every wire. Um, the instructions are pretty well laid out on this guy. Um, also, on the top of the old radio and the new radio, uh, they do have the uh, you know how they're supposed to be wired, and it looked like it was pretty much same for same as far as color. Uh, these are the keys here to help you unlock the uh, radio from the cage there. If you need to disconnect it, you also have the remote as well as these little aux plugs that are rubber so it keeps moisture out and the uh, two wiring harnesses, one that deals with the power ground accessory and power uh, power antenna or power rem for uh, sub and then you have your four speakers here which we will be using so yeah this is good. Alright guys so as we start off with the radio um, it's not really attached to anything so it looks like it might just slide right out um, the bottom is the container but we're going to just unplug here and we unplug the cable pretty much straightforward and there's only one other thing that should be connected here, which is the antenna and unplugged. So pretty much everything should be unplugged there. We're just gonna go into the holder here and see if we can uh, slide it out without breaking anything. Um, but it should be pretty much straightforward. But it looks like they did a decent job putting it together. So we'll get on the front. And then push. Oh, that, tab, that tab's hard. There you go, got it. Woo! Success, guys. That was easy. Yeah. All right, so there's tabs on each side that were just hold, held in against the fiberglass. And on the back, as you saw, there's that little, um, what do they call that type of metal rod? Um, no, no, but there's a little- Grounding? No, it's not, a, it's not used for ground, it's just for holding. So oh. they use it with the holes and they slide it in and put oh, a nut on it. Oh, support? Okay. Yeah, so, but anyway, there is no nut on there, but that's pretty much everything that's there. I remember our tool from Harbor Freight. This is like the third time we're using this. Getting some use out of it. All right guys, so you can actually see um, there's actually instructions on here to actually tell you how to use it. All you have to do is put wires in, one on each end, heat it up. So we're going to be using a snap-on tool and we'll be heating that up here um, to, actually, yep, to actually hold this. And keep in mind guys, we are not sponsored, so we are using the tools that we have. Yep. And we were lucky enough if I didn't bring my connectors and someone here actually had them, so that was cool. Thank you very much. Um, so I was actually pretty excited about that. I was like, yes, I don't have to drive back home. <laughs> and so let's see how this fits in there. I wonder if Hero's cuts are too long. Dang, wasn't my cuts, they were pre-cut. I guess it doesn't matter. That's perfect. All right. And if so anything, we could cut them short. Yeah. Now the problem is I don't know if I can stick this side in because, as you can see, the wire is thicker on the side. <laughs> Zip. 
Zippity doo da day. Zippity doo da day. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it shoves in there. To shove it. Okay, look at that. Those crimp connectors are so cool looking. And again, guys, why we're using these connectors is they're actually waterproof, watertight. I'm just trying to get it in there, guys. Trying to shove it in there. It's a size that shouldn't be in there, but we're just like, we're gonna make it fit in there. <laughs> Without loop. Yeah, we'll see if it'll do it. All right, first one. Dang, pointing the gun at me. Smells like candles. Nope. Oh. Did you melt the plastic? I think so. Dang. Too hot. Got crazy with the flame. Yep. First timers? Yep. <laughs> that is starting to, starting to heat up. Cool down, you mean? Yeah, cool down, I mean, yeah. Well, now there's like plastic wrapping each strand of the wire now. <laughs> Because you melted it all the way. Yeah, that's why. Dang, that looks pretty dope, though. All right, that's one wire down. <laughs> okay, let's see how many how many it let's, takes. Let's continue <laughs> while we still have some. No, no. Some how, how many does it take to uh, to perfect to, to learn? Yeah. Uh, take it a little slower this time. Oh, sick. Yeah, you can see the soldering. Yeah. That is sick. Very cool. Let's make sure we don't burn anything with that. Solder. So keep in mind, this is a hot tip, so we want to make sure we're not laying it on the um, on seats, interior covers, seats or anything, yeah. anything that might get damaged by heat. And Including so. your fingers. All right, you guys, while Alvin's doing the, the wiring back there, I'm just gonna head over to the speaker here. This is the one that's broken. It's not working right now, so I'm just gonna take it out, see what's behind it, see if we have any like wiring issues, and uh, see if we can get the new one to work before we uh, bolt everything back together. All right, so as we get started with this here, uh, we did go with the Pioneer TS-A693R. Uh, overall, these are gonna be uh, pretty excellent speakers for what they are. They're not gonna be what the Kenwoods were, but again, uh, Pioneer does offer a limited warranty. These are not marine speakers, but that's okay. We wanted to kind of get the best bang for the buck and these speakers actually weren't too bad. So um, yeah, again, like I said, marine speakers would probably do better but again quality of these pioneers look amazing and i'm pretty stoked to actually see how they're going to look and run and sound um, they do come with the little plastic attachment piece as well as some screws so you can actually screw up screw them uh what's called so you can actually screw them to wood or whatever however you're going to plan to mount them um the the uh, plastic uh, mounts look amazing very solid they come with two really thin wires so i definitely go to you know some maybe like some uh 14 gauge wires versus the wires that come with there because the wires that they come with are pretty thin uh, overall like i said i'm gonna like these i think we're gonna be very excited to use these let's uh jump back over to hero and uh, have him install it The connectors look fine. Yeah. The wire is still good. It's probably just because of the water. All right, guys. All right, you guys. This is what it looks like inside without the speakers. So it's basically just the housing. The speaker just gets screwed right there. But uh, the wires look fine. 
This side it worked, this side it didn't. But the wires look fine, so I'm assuming that the speaker just died. So we will test it once the stereo is put together. So I don't want to put this side in yet, but I will put that side in, so. Okay, very easy to connect, go for it. In here, we don't think it's good. We're gonna throw them off. I just, we you know, I, I think that, you know, how right, can so we move the speaker works. I'm just gonna button it up, screw well, it all together, and then help Alvin finish off the head unit. Oh, we already, there's already a. Yeah, I got this one. Okay, here's the other one. Cool. No, it's it's holding a lot well, uh, a lot better than before. Nice. I can shake the whole boat. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're about to plug this in. This uh, section for the plug here is for power, and this the top part right here is to the speakers. Uh, Alvin on the back side, he's gonna plug in this, the the speakers RCA connection, and this is really meant for an antenna. So that's gonna connect there. So all right, here goes. We don't know if it's right or left, huh? Um, the white was left and the dark blue was right. All right, white for left, dark blue, right. Good, yep. I'm gonna slide it in. Yeah, this thing is really light, so I don't think it's gonna move at all. Dang, looking good. Look at that, guys. Hope you guys can see it, but that looks good. Fits in there nicely. And it doesn't move, won't shake, don't need that bolt. Welcome, radio. Dang, wireless. No, no it says Wi-Fi. More connections. More connection settings. Yeah. No? Oh, Bluetooth. Dang, hiding Bluetooth from me. Let's see, so how do I, what is this radio? Pile. Dang. <laughs> there you go. Pile. Pair pile. It's pile. Linked. Wow, that's oh, actually. That was quick. <laughs> no, there was nothing to push on there. That was good. That so, was really quick. That was actually very impressive. Yeah. Crypto.com. My card was sent. Just so you know, I got that update today. Okay, let's hear it. And I can't even get on crypto. to like 50. Nice. It actually, the, the speakers are actually- Sounds so clear. Yeah, that's actually pretty impressive. And, it, and like standing right here, yeah. I get all the speakers. Okay, so 43 is the loudest. And it sounds clear, it's not it distorted. Sound, yeah, it sounds super clear. I was actually pretty impressed. All right, guys, so right. we are done. I know it looks late. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like later and it has to be. Um, but a job that took about an hour and a half, almost two hours. Uh, I'm putting in the radio, changing those speakers up top, yep. uh, swapping out the lower speakers for for some other ones that we had. Yeah. <laughs> so other than that, um, it looks good. It's in there, it's on, easy to turn on. Just hit it once to turn it off, hold it, shuts down quick and easy um we'll probably have to look at some other stuff on it you know in the wiring but other than that it's amazing looks good i was a little worried that it you know we were we had the radio yeah. all the way up and it um oh yeah the and, and it cut out um but other than that i think maybe that's just to save itself from burning out or something probably um so not bad and this is the <laughs> the other radio it Heavy. As, as Hero says, this is some real weight. Oh, geez, yeah, yeah. compared to the new one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is gonna, as he's gonna say, it's gonna uh, give us some more, a uh, better ET, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> but um, yeah, Hero has the speakers there. Yeah, and this is what we installed in the back there, which you saw earlier. 
and uh, we tested the sound, and they sound cre clear. <laughs> they sound clear. Yeah, they sound. They sound very, crystal clear. Is what I tried to say. They sound crystal clear. Crystal clear. Yeah. So now. Um, and also, these are powered by the amp that's in the back there, so we didn't have. We're not going to have that issue of it turning off. It's these two or four. Four front ones are here. Yeah. That, uh, so I mean, maybe the idea might be to get a bigger amp that does four channels, and maybe we'll move those two bigger ones onto uh, onto the, uh, the amps, onto the amp side. Connected to yeah. The into the other one. So yeah, like I said, there's there's a lot of things that will you know, like I said, there might be some later upgrades. So maybe getting a better amp. But other than that, thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. We yeah. like it. Um, yeah. Besides the name pile, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what you guys are thinking when you hear that name pile. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's a marine. Oh, look at that! Yeah, you took off the take, cover. Yeah, you sorry, Raphael, cover, yeah. if you're watching this video, he took off the cover, dude. I'm and sorry. It comes with extra covers um, for for being waterproof. Um, so other boats have them off to the side. This one is un in here, so I don't think we'll have to worry about it too much. But um, like I said, with the Bluetooth connections. I think that's actually pretty cool that it's actually able to connect quick other, and easy. Other head units on different boats are on the side here. Yeah. That's what he meant. Yeah. This one has a nice little home yeah. for it. Yeah. Nice and covered. Yeah. So, anyway, guys. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're enjoy excited. It. Thumbs up on both products. Sounds like. amazing. We'll let you guys know, hopefully, in about a month. Um, we'll have some recording Testing of us it. at the uh, lake. The lake. So, anyway. Yeah. Well, some sound off. Some bales. Yeah. Some bales. <laughs> Hero bailing. Hero, Belly flopping. Hero will be uh, twisting his leg out, his ankle out of his oh, yeah. uh, shoe, and then not like, being able to ride it back again for like two months. Oh no! Don't. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, knock on wood here. He's like the, the whole boat should be wood, but it's plastic. No. Yeah. All right, you guys. Know, anyway, thanks for watching. Later. Have a good one. Peace. Peace.